not, no matter how much you think he's not, he's going to attack you in different le- different areas in all y'all lives. But you got to stay committed to to your to your success. Like stay stay committed to what you want to do because that's going to keep you focused. That's going to keep you from going and doing other things. Like basketball was the thing that kept me focused from doing crazy stuff as growing up. Like of course, growing like of course when I was young, I did a lot of crazy stuff. But those mistakes. Uh, as I grew, as I grew older, they, they, I learned from them, and they made me a, a better man. To, to like now in my life, I look back and I see those things, and I'm like, okay, well, I know what not to do and what to do. So, you gotta have something in your life that drives you to do better in life and anything that you're doing. Like, so you say you want to be a basketball player. So, as you get older, you gotta use that to keep you focused from, you know, doing drugs or or stealing or lying or fighting, like you gotta keep that as your number one thing. And you gotta use that to just keep you driven no matter how much other things, how many people try to distract you because you're gonna have people in your, in your life who's gonna try to distract you in all areas of your life. Uh, the second thing is hard work. Um, you're not gonna be able to get where you wanna go without hard work. It's gonna be a lot of late nights, early mornings. You'll be tired, you're gonna have time where you just like, I don't wanna do it no more, but you gotta keep doing it, you gotta keep going. But you always gotta have a why. You gotta have something to where like my 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 why is my family. Like I, I love my family. Um, growing up, to, to have everybody play basketball, it was it was like it was like I had to live up to a certain standard. So they pushed me to to go to go harder in every area of my life. Basketball was one of the things where it was like, is this is this what I want to do? And it was a point in time where I actually stopped playing basketball, and I just see them go to the gym all the time, and I was just like. I I don't feel right not to go. So I just started getting back into basketball, and I was like, you know, at this point, I'm just going to take it to the next level. And I just started working hard and staying committed to the process, staying patient no matter what got in my way. And they helped me a lot with just lean, always lean on your family. No matter it, the people that you have close to you are the ones who will help you. You got to believe that. And although they might discipline you, mother, your fathers, whoever might discipline you, but it's all for the better. Um, they don't discipline you. They, they don't love you much as you think they, they do. Um, and the third one is consistency. You gotta stay consistent with whatever you do. Every day, every day, every day you gotta go at it. Every day you gotta do something to help your goal, something to help you be successful in what you wanna do. You can't go a day without doing anything. You can't You can't go a day with just sleeping on your behind and not doing nothing. You gotta, you gotta stay with it every day. And another important thing is school. You gotta be able to pass, because if you don't pass, you can't. You ain't gonna be able to play and be successful at the next level. You gotta be smart, you gotta read, you gotta study, you gotta do little things to keep you acclimated to being successful. Um, school is one of the things where, uh, when I was younger, I actually liked going to school. The older I got, I kind of deviated away from it, but I knew that the only way I could be successful at my goal, the only way I could go to the next level, I had to have school. I got I gotta pass my classes. So that's another thing when I was talking about having that so having that goal that pushes you and drives you to do better. So basketball was that thing that drove me to do better in areas in my life. Um, another thing is patience. No matter what happens in your life, um, you gotta be patient. If it's injuries, if it's sickness, deaths, you're having to move away, you might not be the best player, you might not be the best person on your team, you might not be doing whatever you wanna do at this moment in your life, but you gotta stay with it and be patient because your time will come. The time will come no matter no matter how much people talk down on you, make you feel bad. As long as you working, as long as you staying patient to the process, your time will come. Um, you just gotta stay committed to it. Um, it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy to be committed. Commitment is hard at times, but that's that's the perks of when you have, whenever you make it, the feeling of the success is gonna be a lot better. It's gonna be a better a better uh, feeling. And more importantly than all that is your faith in God. Um, you're not going to be able to do anything or go to the next level, be successful in any way if you don't have God in your life. Um, and of course, there's going to be times where you're going through a hard time, you're going to ask God for help, but he's, he, he, you're not going to think that, and a lot of people, a lot of people go through this, they, they think just because they have God that things are supposed to be easy and not supposed to be hard. It's actually the complete opposite because God has to test our faith somehow. And if we just get everything we want and we ask for, we ask for something and we get it automatically, it's not testing our faith. He's actually just giving us everything that we want in our lives. But the more that we struggle, the more that we go through hard times, the more that we ask and don't receive, the more that we 
want the things that we want in our lives and don't get them, that's the more that he's testing. He's testing our character. He's trying to see, okay, well, if this child doesn't get what he wants, does he still love me? So you're going to be going through a lot, a lot of hard times. And actually, what I kind of realized was the more that I got closer to God, the closer that I got to God, the more that um, me and him built a relationship, things actually got harder in my life. It wasn't always... It wasn't always easy. It was like the more I got closer to God, it was like things got harder, things got harder, things got harder. But I just stayed with it because I know um, my parents, my, my sisters, my brothers and all them, they always taught me from when I was young to just stay with it. Um, just stay with God. Um, lean on him because at the end of the day, when the time comes, he will give you what you need. And you just got to pray every day. Pray every day. That's the most important thing. Pray every day. Stay, stay close to God. And the one thing that we have to stand close to God is prayer. Prayer is the most important thing to staying close to God. Um, you just got to continue to just ask him for the things that you need, not that you want. Uh, the things that you want, uh, mostly not not for you. Um, I remember when I was younger, I used to always uh, ask God to, um, can I get taller? I wanted to be, like, really, really tall, and really, like, just real tall. Because my, one of my oldest brothers, he was, like, 6'6", six, six, and I was like, man, I want to be that height. I want to be that height, but... Uh, the older I got, I started to realize, like, I didn't really need to be 6'6". Six, six. Like, God has given me the perfect height that I need to be. Like, I don't need to be 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, like, I'm perfect. I'm good at where I'm at. I like my, my size and all that. So it's just like, the things that you need, God, God will provide for you. You just got to stay with it. So, question for y'all. Who in here believes, who in here has a lot of faith in God? So what drives you to have your faith in God? My family. Family. What drives you? Um, love that I give to others. Yeah, that's cool. School. School. she said love. Um, love is actually very important. Um, one, of the, one of the scriptures, or one of the books I've just finished, I actually just finished the, the whole Bible, and one of the books that I was reading, I believe it was Revelations, it talked about, it talked about love, and how love is a driven force to your relationship with God. Like, you know when somebody has God when they show a lot of love. Love is an important thing. You have friends and families, even enemies and people that don't like you, and you just show them love. And that's why the Bible, um, it says that when, when someone strikes your cheek, just turn it over to the other cheek and let them strike the other one too. But like, that's a part of just being, that's a part of being like having a sacrificial love from God. Because God did that for us. You know what I'm saying? He came and died, for, I mean, Yahweh came and died for our sins. So for us to have others strike us down and, and, Curse on the curse I name and still show him love like y'all we did. That's us following his steps. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so, for, so the most important thing in my eyes is just staying true to the process and having faith in God. And no matter what people try to tell you, people try to make you seem like you're not. What people try to make you seem like you're not the person that you want to be. Just stay committed and, and love God through everything. Um, so that's all I have for you guys today.